Hi everyone, this is Andy with Blungo.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to use Google Tasks on Gmail and Google Calendar. Let's start. Okay, so I'm here in my Gmail account and I already have Google Tasks open here on the right. And as you can see, I already have a few tasks in there. Up here, you can see the different task lists. Currently I'm using my tasks, but I also have these two. And to add a task, I can just click here where it says add task and start typing. And the task has been added. I can also press enter and add another task. If I click here next to the task, I can edit it. We can change the name, add a description, change the task list here, as well as add a date and time and subtasks. Let's add a date and time. And the time is going to be at 11 a.m. And now let's go back. And you can see that the task has a date and time linked to it. To complete the task, just click here. And it's going to be marked as completed. To see the completed tasks, you can click here. And to reopen a task, just click here. And the task has been restored. You can also use emails as tasks. Just drag and drop the email to the task list like this. And now you have a task that is linked to the email right here. To add tasks to a different list, first open the list and then click on add task. If you would like to close this panel, you can just click on the cross and the panel is going to be hidden. To open it again, just click here on the task icon and the panel is going to show up again. Okay, let's move on to Google Calendar now. And here I have the tasks calendar turn on. And you can see that I have two tasks here that have a date linked to them. That's why they are showing on my calendar. You can also see your task list from Google Calendar. Just go to the right panel and click on tasks. If you drag and drop any tasks to Google Calendar, it will create an event with it, like this. To complete a task from the calendar, just click on it and then click on Mark Complete. We can also add a task directly in the calendar. Just click where you would like the task to be. And now select Task. Add a title and select the task list. Finally, click on save. And the task has been added to the task list right here. To delete a task, click here and then click on delete. The official way to access Google Tasks is via Gmail, but you can also see your tasks in Google Calendar, like I'm showing you here. And also there is a Chrome extension that you can add to your browser that will show Google Tasks in its own window. I have it open right here. And the name is Full Screen for Google Tasks. When you add it to Chrome, you have to log in with your Google account and then all your tasks are gonna be synced here. This is very helpful if you wanna keep your tasks in its own window. On the left panel, you have the task lists and you can add more lists here. In the center panel, you have the tasks of that task list. And if you click on any of the tasks, you can edit it on this panel as well as add a date. You can also add new tasks clicking on this button. If you would like to install the extension, this is the official page on the Google Chrome Web Store. The last thing I wanna show you is that Google developed an Android app for Google Tasks so you can have all your tasks on your phone, as well as an iOS app in case you use an iOS device. Both apps have really good reviews and there are a lot of people using them. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and please let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.